What's up guys, welcome to Boost Vlogs. Today I'm gonna be covering a topic that I get a lot of questions on, the same question. I just installed Mega Squirt. Why are my Mega Squirt and my Wideband reading two different AFRs? And it's a really easy fix in Mega Squirt. It's kinda of hard to explain over messages, so that's why I'm shooting this little video on it. Hope you guys enjoy. As always, if you have any questions, drop it down below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more Boost Vlogs. Just so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about, when you first hook your wideband up to Megasquirt, you might have something like this happening. You can see that Megasquirt is reading almost one full point of AFR higher than the wideband. Now the wideband is going to read accurate numbers as long as it's hooked up right, but sometimes the communication between the two is not so great. So here's how you fix it. Okay, so keep in mind that this might be a little bit different if you have MS1 or MS3 or if you have a different version of Tuner Studio possibly. I'm running MS2 plug and play and this is the full version of Tuner Studio MS. What I do to fix this problem and to calibrate MS here is come up to Tools, Calibrate AFR Table, and under this drop down menu, go to Custom Linear Wideband and this signifies the voltage that your wideband is putting out to Megasquirt, and this signifies the AFR that this voltage equals. So you can actually modify these AFRs when you select Custom Linear Wideband until your Tuner Studio reads the same value as your wideband. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop this down to about 18 and a half. We're going to write to controller and start the car up and see how it looks. One trick is you don't really even have to start the car. If it was running a couple minutes ago, you're still going to have fuel in the exhaust. And you can see here the gauge is reading very stable, 14.2. Over on the MS side, it's 13.8. So we're closer, but I still need to modify that value a little bit to get it right on the money. A tenth or two is not going to make a huge difference, but you don't want to be tuning for 11.5 AFR in Mega Squirt under boost, but you're really running 10.5 in reality because you're just going to be losing a whole bunch of power running too rich. So that is how you calibrate your Mega Squirt to your wideband. There we go, we're looking a lot better there and we're gonna be able to tune more accurately because Megasquirt is actually seeing the proper AFR values. All right guys, that's all I got for you. I know that was like the shortest video ever, but I told you it was simple. And it is very important that the Megasquirt and the wideband are communicating and the MS is seeing accurate numbers because you're tuning the car with Megasquirt, not off the wideband itself. So it's very important, your tune will be off if you're using Megasquirt and it's seeing the wrong value. So hopefully that helps some of you out and I will see you in the next one. Peace.